So welcome to Rupture. Probably the prettiest map in Battlefield 1 right now. It's set along the River Anya, and this is the third map coming in the They Shall Not Pass DLC. If you're looking for a quick overview of how this map is going to play out, you've got a mix between infantry, ground, and air vehicles. So it's got that classic battlefield combination, and in many ways, it's made in the same vein as another map coming in this DLC called Soissons. Now, no doubt the standout graphical element of this map is the abundance of poppies all over it. And these have grown here since the battle that raged before has moved on. But the story behind the map is that the battle is returning to its old location. And you can see hints of that all over the place. Up the top by the sea flag, there's a tank graveyard. Down below D, there's a shallow section of the river that you can see had been made into a crossing. And then moving back up towards D, the scarred landscape shows where the artillery fire rained down on that section. Now, the map is split into two halves with the River Anya running right down the middle of it, separating the two. And I think that's what's caused the map to be named Rupture. Now, the B capture point is set on the bridge over the river. So that's the most chaotic location on the map right now, but it can be captured from below the bridge as well. So don't worry, you're not looking at another Argon Forest scenario. Long lines of sight stretch across the river, making the map perfect for scout players. But they need to be careful due to all of the tanks that are roaming about here as well. An assault player can make a big difference here, and if you've unlocked the new Ribe Roll Carbine, then you'll find a lot of use for it and that bipod on this map. Lay prone when you see your target far off in the distance. Maybe they're across the other side of the river. And with this carbine, you will pick them off very, very quickly indeed. Also, if you're trying to hold down the bridge, there are small sections of the bridge walls where railings aren't present. So you will be able to bipod off those if you want to. Other than that, simply destroy the wall on the side of the bridge and you can lay prone there as well. The map overall is fairly open and infantry can be spotted very, very easily. So planes will take very good advantage of that. Countless times during my hour and a half's playtime on this map so far, I was killed by planes. Now there are various trench networks running around the D flag and then across the other side of the river running from A all the way down to C as it connects to the bridge at the B flag. If you're playing as infantry, make use of those trenches and you'll find planes won't bother you as much. Now something that I noticed whilst I was playing on the map Soissons earlier this week in the CTE is that the map, even though it's got the facility to have lots of vehicles on it, planes in the sky and infantry on the ground, it wasn't a very big map overall and that's exactly the same here on Rupture. What I will say though is this map is a little bit flatter than Soissons. It doesn't have the massive hills rolling up the side there that snipers can sit on, but there are still very long lines of sight. So you can't just stand around as an infantry player because you will get picked off by a sniper. It's fairly common for someone to flank you as well, and I think that's simply down to the reduced space on the ground. If the map were much larger, then infantry would struggle not only against the heavy armor on the map, but also to try and get around it to get to the different capture points. They've got a good balance here between infantry, heavy vehicles and planes, but you just have to be aware the map is open and apart from those trenches, there's not a huge amount of places that you can hide. My overall opinion? Rupture is without a doubt the prettiest map now available for Battlefield 1 or will be available with this DLC, but it's not as enjoyable for me as Soissons was. I felt that they dealt with the infantry combat, which is what I'm most interested in, a little bit better on Soissons. They had the C flag, the B flag and the A flag kind of all chained together as an infantry zone and then the vehicles could come in and disrupt that but most of the time they stayed out in the open around the other flags. Here on Rupture, it's geared a little bit more towards those land vehicles, making it easier to get to the capture points. Infantry can still have fun, but I don't feel like it's all connected as well as it is on Soissons. That's not to say it's a bad map, because 
I will play this over and over again just so I can run through the poppy fields. I'm going to let the gameplay roll out now so that you can get a better understanding, a better feel for the map overall. There's some Shoshar gameplay in there, more sniper action with the Labelle, and I think there's some Ribe Roll gameplay towards the end of the video too. The Labelle is an awesome weapon, I absolutely love using it, and in the right situation, the Ribe Roll can be very, very good as well. Let me know what you think about all this down in the comments section, I'll be down there reading as many as I can. But until next time, my name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. We have taken objective Charlie. I'm inside me. Yeah. C'est un de leur éclaireur. We have taken objective apples. Nabi, tu sperre Prends ça, ça Quelqu'un peut me soigner Ça fait mal Médecin Ça saigne Il me faut un médecin We are losing objective apples. C'est munitions pour toi Soldats d'assaut ennemi là-bas. Mouillez-vous, éclaireur ennemi en vue. Un médecin hostile. Un médecin par là.
taken objective Charlie. Just an assault. Soldat ennemi en vue. 